hello everyone so in this video i am going to demonstrate if we want to work on tableau or tableau bridge so how we can do this so let me first give you a demonstration what i want to achieve from this video let's say we have a table and this table is right now empty we don't have any rows okay so we don't have any rows right so let me insert one or two rows in the table for the sake of demonstration so now we have one or two id okay maximum is two and then sum of amount is three so let me go and here we don't have anything so if i have already connected a create a stack demo which is tableau bridge so if i refresh this it will take few seconds depending on the speed of the data or speed of the internet or data content it will take time but i hope it will take not much time so it's done now i'm going to refresh this page so here you can see the output we have a 2 which is maximum id and the sum of amount is 3 so i hope you understand this point so we are going to create this type of demonstration in this video so let's get back to the our demonstration side so this is my main page after uh, once i log in on tableau online or tableau cloud you will see page like this here you have a user id and which you have login you can get trial version i am using trial as well so this is my my tableau version so tableau server version keep in mind that this version or your desktop version or your tableau bridge version should be same if tableau bridge version is older than or desktop version is older than then you may face a problem in a connectivity so these three versions should be same okay first thing you have to keep in mind second thing that you must check that your authentication should be connected client should be let's client automatically connect to this tableau site should be enabled or ticked okay and finally you have created a pool any pool you can name any pool i have named ar pool then here you should be once you install your tableau bridge so you have to be connected here and also you have to make sure that your tableau bridge service should be running right and your tableau bridge service status should be connected okay if this job is running because i have scheduled it so let me go on our tableau desktop site okay this is my tableau desktop i already told you that i am using tableau version which is similar to 2023 okay so this is 2023 okay now i am going to create a, a connection with my local sql server let me input my password here okay so i have my input my password here tick right and then i am going to use live streaming table and this table is live streaming here so i have two rows okay i just inserted two rows so it's also showing two rows so first i need to change live into extract here this is one step and once i done this then i have to check my data okay i have two rows okay then i am going to use save this stack let me show let me say demo of stract okay so this is my stack name could be any name but just for the understanding and i am also changing once it's extracted so i will also change this live streaming eds date into my meaningful name let me say that demo of bridge B. okay so this is my connection name right so <coughs> once it's done then i am going to publish it publish data source keep in mind that i have already signed in 
with my tableau online so i am not going to sign in again and publish data source demo of bridge so fine <clears throat> so demo of bridge here i have a project let me show project in explore i have a project under project i have two data set okay so i am going to create a new one right and refresh not enable i have to change it allow refresh access and then make sure that i have checked this update workbook to use publish data source so i have checked this okay and then click publish so it will going to publish our data set without any sheet on a tableau public or tableau cloud so let's wait for this publish publishing okay here we go we have published demo bridge and let me say that i am not going to use right now so we have live stream is available here but you can see in here you will not see demo of bridge here why because we have to go in connection in fact we have to go explore again project and this is demo of so what i am going to use schedule with bridge latency so this is i am going to use i uh, and here my dsl ally my pc name which i show you earlier and then i am going to use weekly hourly let's say we are say hourly 15 minute half an hour let's say we are going to schedule a half an hour then monday tuesday thursday is fine let me create this so i am going to create this and let's say after a few time yeah you can see demo bridge here so it's giving some error so we need to edit it and provide a credential here okay so all fix we are good to go i am going to click demo bridge and now i am going to create a sample worksheet workbook in fact workbook using this data source okay fine so we have a id and it's in text so i am going to convert this id into major and i am also going to use maximum because i know that it should be maximum so maximum is 2 you can see and i'm going to hide this and i am also using sum of amount which is 3 okay so this is 3 2 plus 1 3 now i'm going to add two more rows quickly in my data okay now my maximum id is 4 and now we have 4 plus 3 10 10 is total sum so what i am going to do i am here and now i am going to use this bridge and click run now which means manually however it can be scheduled i have already scheduled half hourly but for the demonstration purpose i am going to run it manually so it's done now i am going to refresh this page to see the effect so yeah you can see 4 and 10 Four is last record, and four plus three is seven, two nine, and then one plus ten. So this is the method where we can implement the Tableau Bridge logic. So I hope you understand thing this demonstration. So keep in mind that you have a same version, you have a proper you know uh, setting here in Tableau Bridge. your service will be on this this should be connected and this should be connected and then you can publish your uh, data bridge and configure your data bridge thank you very much for